Well, thank you very much. We're pleased to be with President Moon of South Korea. We have a long-term friendship, and we are making a lot of progress. Uh, we are working on tremendous trade deals. And we, as you know, we've completed a trade deal, and that's working out very well for both countries. That deal is completed now, and uh, it's been in existence for — solidly in existence for six months, and it's been very good. And we intend to do some additional things on trade. Of course, we'll be talking about North Korea. We'll be talking about uh, the purchase of equipment. Uh, South Korea is one of our largest purchases of military equipment. And uh, we're working together very well. Uh, Mr. President, it's a great pleasure to meet you again three months after our last meeting. Uh, your visit to Panmunjom will go down as a historic moment uh, that embodied peace through action. And I have to say that I always marvel at your imagination and bold decision making. Uh, thanks to your leadership, we have been able to achieve great progress in terms of inter-Korean relations. And this has also led to a dialogue between the United States and North Korea. And uh, soon, uh, I will be expecting uh, the uh, working level negotiations between the United States and North Korea uh, to, uh, to prepare for the third, uh, your third summit with Chairman Kim to, resume, uh, to be resumed soon. And when you have your third uh, summit with Chairman Kim, uh, maybe I hope that this will go down as a truly a historic moment in world history. This will uh, be a great achievement uh, that equals a great uh, transformation in terms of a complete denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, during the time I have been working together with you, uh, the Rock US Alliance has been uh, evolving in a, a great way. Uh, especially in the economic field, we have been able to revise our bilateral free trade agreements, and that has been a great success, uh, while uh, many Korean companies are uh, increasing their investment in America. And uh, during the course of my visit uh, to New York, uh, uh, we'll be signing the deal to uh, increase the import of LNG from America, uh, while we'll also be signing a deal regarding a joint venture uh, between a Korean motor company and an automated vehicle company in America. So I believe that all of this uh, will uh, uh, come to uh, reinforce our already strong alliance. And furthermore, I do look forward uh, to engaging in uh, candid discussions with you today on how we could uh, truly, uh, truly make great progress in our alliance in other aspects as well. Thank you very much. What's it going to take to have a third summit with Chairman Kim, Well, we'll see. Uh, right now, uh, people would like to see that happen. I want to know what's going to be coming out of it. We can know a lot before the summit takes place. We had really two very successful summits. Uh, there's been, as you know, there's been uh, no lessening of the sanctions. There's only been an increasing of the sanctions. But very importantly, we have our hostages back. And that was a very big deal. And we got our hostages back. We have the remains of our great heroes from the past back, a lot of them. And they're coming in. Uh, and they actually have a lot of them ready to start coming in again. So a lot of things have happened. Plus, there's been no nuclear testing at all for the last quite a long period of time, at least that we can detect. Uh, and the relationships have been very good. So we'll see what happens. But we'd like to see if we can do something. And if we can, that'll be great. And if we can't, that's fine. We'll see what happens. But uh, there's been no nuclear testing for a long time. A long time. Are you considering sanctions uh, for, uh, considering actions first before denuclearization as part of your new method for the in the denuclearization talks? Sanctions where? Sanctions first before denuclearization as part of your new uh, method in the denuclearization talks. Uh, I can, you're going to have to speak up. <clears throat> Say it again. Sanctions. Go ahead. Sanctions. Well, considering actions first before denuclearization. Where? For North Korea in the denuclearization talks. I'm not considering actions. We're getting along very well with North Korea. I have a good relationship with Kim Jong-un, and we're not considering actions at all. There's no reason for actions. I will say this. If I weren't president, you'd be at war with North Korea, in my opinion. If the same group was in that preceded me, you'd be in a war with North Korea. So we're not looking at any actions. We have a, a good relationship with Kim Jong-un. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to make a deal, maybe not. Do you plan to discuss the North Korean short-range missile tests? Yeah, we're going to discuss that. I will be discussing. Yeah, I will be discussing. We didn't have an agreement on short-range missiles, and a lot of people in a lot of countries test short-range missiles. There's nothing spectacular about that. But we will be discussing that also.
Okay. Can, can we hear from President Moon if he is um, troubled by the short range missiles and if he'd like to see you maybe try to stop it from happening? Talk to well, the we'll take a look at it. We're going to talk about it, but I didn't really discuss that with Kim Jong un. That was never part of our discussion. We did discuss, discuss nuclear testing and other things, and frankly, he's lived up to his word on those things that we discussed. We actually signed an agreement in Singapore, and we actually had two very good meetings. You would have been at war right now with North Korea if I weren't President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.